Hello and welcome to Six in the Cities. I'm Tanya Peterson. I'm joined by Mr. Robert Birdall and Miss Ruth Ann Hayward, who are the lead actor and actress of Beauty and the Beast at the Chanhassen Dinner Theater. Welcome. Hi. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Hi, yeah. You guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ruth Ann, kind of share with our viewers the uh, actual story behind Beauty and the Beast, if you would. The production that we're doing is kind of loosely based off the movie, sure. um, which was the Disney movie, which a lot of people know and love. It's a story of a young prince who was spoiled, selfish, mm -hmm. and unkind. An um, old beggar woman came to visit him one day and offered him a rose, and he turned it down, and then she transformed into an enchantress and placed a curse on him and his castle. The prince tried to apologize but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. And she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Part of the curse was that he needed to learn that beauty was on the inside and not just outside. Fell into despair, as they say, because he figured who could ever learn to love someone that hideous. Mm -hmm. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. How long must this go on, this cruel trick of fate? I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that witch was gone and left me in this state, an object of revulsion and derision. Hated is there no one who can show me how to win the Forgiveness. And then enters Belle, me, and <laughs> um, she lives in a French provincial town. She goes to find her father and meets the beast, and yeah, they strike up a relationship. What a, what a nice dress! Thank you! <laughs> uh, uh, Belle, uh, I have something to show you, but... You have to close your eyes first. It's a surprise. Get the girl! <laughs> as Beauty and the Beast. How'd you get here? Michael Brindisi approached me about it, and so I came and sang for him one day. I thought it would be a good fit, and so I said yes. I studied acting at Gustavus Adolphus College in grad school at, at CalArts. And, uh, Tell us what are some other roles that you've had. I did a show called Forever Plaid for eight years. It's been at the Guthrie since 1999. Did Pinafore, 39 Steps, Sunshine Boys. Done over 40 productions there. What about you, Ruthann? Where did you get your training? I studied at Bethel University in St. Paul, and I studied music and business there, so I come from more of a vocal background, always a part of church choirs and singing. Started working at the dinner theater right after graduating from college and worked mm -hmm. there in Bye Bye Birdie and Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and then played Hoddle and Fiddler on the Roof. Went on to go to New York and did some training there. Michael Brindisi approached me about playing Belle and... Oh, did you about have back. a heart attack? <laughs> yes, yeah. Who yes, like, who, yes, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about some of the costumes. Okay. Yeah. Rich Hampson is our costume designer. He is absolutely brilliant. I love just learning from his vision. This production of Beauty and the Beast is set in the year 1650, and it's basically referring back to a, a Jean Cocteau film. It has the essence of the Three Musketeers. The great thing about um, setting this show in a very broad fairy tale period is that I could refer back to illustrators from the 1920s that had the style that was huge prints and huge graphics, larger than life, much more romantic quality that just broadens the visual of the whole thing. Basically, the difference between a real costume and the object costumes is the structure that's underneath. In the real people costumes, they're layers of fabric, but they're structured very much like real clothes. Whereas the objects, you're going to find they might even have a steel armature underneath that everything is set on top. 
or like the creamer and sugar are all made out of panels of foam that are then hooped out with small children's hula hoops to give them the, the roundness on the top and the bottom. The challenges that you have in creating the objects for live actors is the ability to move and dance. For example, Babette has to tangle, but the bottom of her dress needs to look like it's a feather duster. So you have to make sure that it's tight enough to get the feel of a feather duster, but that she still has enough room to do all the dance movement that she has to do. It's basically working to give the actors the full mobility they need to carry out the choreography and the staging. We can produce a show that looks like it's a Broadway quality show on, on resources that are not not the same as a Broadway show. And yet people will look at our stuff and not really be able to tell the difference. It's actually kind of an amazing group of people all the way around. Do you get a lot of little girls coming oh. up to you? I always huh. worried about that. Like they just want to touch the dress. Yeah, <laughs> most of the girls have like a little yellow dress on and sometimes when you do say like, I was Belle, it just lights up their faces. Every childhood dream of <laughs> exactly. Beauty and the Beast, the gold dress yeah. fulfills yeah. that. It actually made me cry. <laughs> when the, the me too. Oh, <laughs> me <that>. too. <laughs> <laughs> face is telling you when you look out in the audience. I think they're, they're loving it, you know, it's, it's great because it's for all ages, for grandmothers, for grandkids, for everything in between. You know, they really invest in the magic of the story, which is really fun. Now you really <laughs> tickle my fancy. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. I have been bound by you before. <laughs> There before. What's there, Mama? Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, let's give them some privacy. <laughs> Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon. If it's to be, it will be very soon now. Come along, son. So what is your favorite song in the production? Oh, boy. I love doing Be Our Guest. Mark King and I are good friends off stage and on stage. And so every night when we get to that number and it's just like, we get to play, we get to have fun. And Be Our Guest is less stressful for me than some of the other characters because they have to sing and dance and be in costume. And I just get to watch them and smile. Nice. <laughs> and so it's really <laughs> enjoyable for me to just get to watch the magic. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we supply the rest. Singing for dancing beer, what an entertaining meal. How could anyone be moving or depressed? We'll make you shout, a roar, and send the stop for more. So be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. I think my favorite song is probably when I'm doing my costume change backstage and she is singing a song called Change In Me. Uh -uh. Um, it's both happening at the same time. It's funny, when I look around, I see the whole world differently. There's been a change in me.
one of the most important things of any great production is obviously the director and the choreographer. So who's in charge of all that over at the Chan Hassan? So the director is Michael Brindisi. He's kind of taken his own little spin on Beauty and the Beast. He based some of it off of the Cocteau film, the 1930s mm -hmm. film, brought a little bit more darkness into the production and also silks. We're using these pieces of fabric that um, kind of transform the stage from a town to a castle. It kind of sets it apart. And Tamara Kangas Erickson, she's fabulous. She's absolutely incredible. Let's go! will run now this entire spring through the summer. Get your sure. tickets fast. It's mm -hmm. selling like crazy. It is. Well, it's because you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with more Six in the Cities. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having us.